Got another exam question on the enthalpy and entropy topic. This one has bits of both in. So, as usual, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to try it first. So, definition for enthalpy change of hydration is the enthalpy change when one mole of aqueous ions is formed from gaseous ions. So, moving on to the cycle now, we're told that A is the lattice enthalpy, so we've got the gaseous ions at the top there. Obviously, they come together to form the solid ionic lattice, so we need the solid lattice at the bottom here. So moving on to the step that's missing, it's the enthalpy change of solution of the potassium sulfate. You'll notice it's endothermic, so it needs to come up. So we're going to draw a line about there, and on that we're going to have the aqueous ions. So to complete the cycle, we just need to hydrate the um, gaseous ions one at a time. So I always go for, unless I'm told otherwise, I always hydrate the metal ion first and then hydrate the non-metal ion next. So that makes that step C. So I need 2K plus aqueous there. Obviously the sulphate ion is still gaseous. And obviously that's step D, the hydration of the sulphate ion. So moving on to the calculation, we've got to calculate the enthalpy change of hydration of the sulphate ion. So I'm just calling that X. So I'm going to take the vector approach for this one. So there's two routes to go from here to here. So obviously there's that route there, the one we want. Or you can go up there, down there, and up there. So you'll notice these two arrows are going in the correct direction for the route. This one's going in the wrong direction. So it's basically that plus that minus that one. And you'll notice also, because we've got two moles of potassium ions to hydrate, we need to double its enthalpy change of hydration. So that's given me an enthalpy change of hydration of minus 1099 kilojoules per mole. Moving on to part C, the entropy change of solution is positive because you're going from one mole of a solid lattice to three moles of aqueous ions. And obviously there's more disorder in the aqueous ions. And finally, why does potassium sulfate dissolve in water at 25 degrees C, despite it being um, endothermic, the enthalpy change of solution? It's all down to the fact that delta G comes out at being negative. So you can see I'm getting um, delta G at minus 43.05 kilojoules per mole. If you've worked in joules per mole, you'll have got a thousand times more than that, but you will have still got a negative sign there. So it's feasible or spontaneous since delta G is negative.